Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this will be a little bit better than yesterday's beer. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, after that, the first uh, one undrinkable beer that I've ever done before in almost 2,000 beer reviews, 1,900 and some now, uh, from Blue Mountain, which is, I consider a local brewery. It's only a couple hours up the road here. Uh, I had another one in the, in, in the fridge from them. And I said, ooh, we better go ahead and get this one out of the way, too. So this is Blue Mountain's Dark Hollow. And that's an Imperial Stout, guys. Uh, and what concerns me about this beer, on the back here it says, Sister Beers, Local Species. That's the one we had yesterday that was so nasty and infected. Uh, I'm hoping this one is not. This is also, this, on the cork here it says, Best Buy, May 2013. Uh, and we're into 2016, so I'm not exactly sure when this beer was produced. Uh, it doesn't have a bottled on date anywhere. And it's a 10% Imperial Stout, so it should keep for years and years and years. Uh, but I am concerned. Uh, and if this beer is bad, I am probably not going to buy anything else from these guys. Uh, I'm not uh, keen on spending money on, especially beers this big, the Corkton Cage beers that it costs probably fifteen dollars uh, and have it infected or bad uh, it's just my OCD uh, I, I'm not so uh, let's get on with this one uh, I'm kind of worried and skeptical about this beer so this is an Imperial Stout coming in 10% like I said I'll be used here at Cedar 70 <coughs> excuse me it says here, commercial description, Doc Hollow blends the miracle of two craft brewing and dist distillation to create work greater than the sum of its parts. An imperial style has been aged in charred American oak, barrel, oak bourbon barrels, still dripping with uncut whiskey. For a hundred days, the young beer patiently breathes in and out of the world's gaining complexity, character, and serious attitude. This ale is always bottled condition and can be enjoyed immediately upon its release from the brewery or five years later when you dust off the last finished bottle from your cellar to share with your good company. I would hate to think that I had a room full of people yesterday to share that infected garbage mess that, that I got out of that bottle yesterday. I, that would have been embarrassing and disappointing. So uh, let's see where this one ends up, guys. Food pairings for this style of beer. She's a buttery breed, Gouda Havarti Swiss. Chocolate goes well with it. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass right of pint, Bacchanonic Tumbler, Snifter, oversized wine glass. Got my favorite glass today, guys. And can be selling for long periods on the proper condition. So, let's see about that. I am... I have not had a, anything that drastically bad before in my life. Ever. Ever. So let's see what this one brings to the table. Maybe maybe they had a bad batch. Maybe they had a bad bottle. Maybe the bottle had something in it or something before they put the beer in there. So I'm hoping this is going to be better. So. Not a big pop. Just a little pop. 10%. We'll go down the middle and see what we get. Basically no head, guys. It was just a little bit of, this a little pop, so it wasn't really, really carbonated. Very dark. Pitch black. I'm not getting any light through it at all. Not even through this little thin part at the bottom. Let's get a nose on it. Bourbon, rich roasted malt. 
caramel, toffee, maybe some dark fruit, a little bit of chocolate. Let's give it a taste, see what we got. Cheers. Definitely giving the bourbon rich roasted malt. Hints of some coffee and toffee and caramel and chocolate. Maybe some plums, dates, raisins, or figs. Definitely better than what we had yesterday. Big bourbon notes. Slightly on the boozy side, though. It is a little boozy. Well, let's let it warm up and see where this one ends up. I already know it's better than what we had yesterday, so that's a good thing. Cut that from getting on my do not buy list, that's for sure. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chugging rate on this one. Alright, guys. I've been sipping on this about 45 minutes or so. Probably even close to an hour now. Very nice. Very delicious beer. This was the savior for Blue Mountain. All it would have taken is this one to have been bad or infected and they would have got on the do not buy list. Uh, this is very tasty. This is a 2013 edition also. Uh, it says Best Buy May 2013, but it's a 10% Imperial Stout. This beer is going to keep and it doesn't have, and, then, and these guys may be dating their stuff now. I'm not exactly sure. They went to cork onto the floor. Uh, when they were new and just getting started, a lot of these smaller breweries can't afford that dating machine. So uh, it did have it on court Best Buy of May of 2013. We're into January, almost February of uh, 2016. So it's selling very well, very nice. Nice bourbon notes, rich caramel, uh, toffee, some dark fruit in there, chocolate. Uh, very nice, very pleasant. So let's do the final choke here. It didn't pour a lot of head on this one. Nice aroma. I am getting the bourbon on it now that it's warmed up to room temperature. But not much head. Can't even regenerate the head on this one. So final choke. Very nice beer to finish up the evening with on this cold January night. Snow on the ground. What a snow on the ground. Wow. Very delicious. All the qualities that you're looking for in a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Very nice. Very, very nice. A redemption beer, if you will, for them guys. Uh, especially after the uh, infected one that I had yesterday and it was undrinkable. I poured it out. Poured all except for what you seen me sip her and she sipped it and then we poured the rest of it out. I haven't done, I don't think I've ever done that. Usually if it's something that I don't like she'll drink but it was even so bad she didn't even want to drink it. It was seriously infected guys. It was a bad beer. Uh, to me guys uh, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. It's very very tasty. Uh, I don't know what I would say to to make it even better, other than generating a little more head on the pour. Uh, it was very pleasant. Uh, a little on the thin side for a 10% Imperial Stout. So uh, there are there are better ones out, and this is not a cheap beer. I mean, I'm sure that I paid probably around $15 or more for this beer. So uh, you know, I like to support the local breweries when I can, as long as they're producing good beer, good drinkable beers, and good quality beers. Uh, so, uh, very nice, very nice beer. Uh, I would give this, like I said, a 9. If I was paying a numeric rating on this beer, I would probably give it a 96 or a 97. So, uh, definitely uh, a nice beer. Definitely an A beer to me. Uh, over to Beer Advocate.
they say 88 in their very good range. It is a very good beer, guys. Uh, I think it's a little bit better than that, but I can understand why people, or especially the reviewers, would not think it was a, a beer. Uh, it is a little thin and a little watery and a little thin on the mouthfeel for a 10% Imperial Stout done in bourbon barrels. Um, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says it's overall 98, but only 73 in the style. So uh, average out those numbers, 98 and 88, and you're pretty close to where I'm going to be. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, like I said, definitely an A beer, uh, but not quite to the 10. So eight, I mean, uh, nine for me on this one, guys. Uh, about a 95 is where I would put it, like I said, 95, 96, somewhere in that area. So, very nice. If you've had this one from Blue Mountain, they're Doc Hollow. And I'm not sure uh, how often they do this beer, if they're doing it every year or not. Like I said, this was the best by 2013, so it may be a 2012 edition. I'm not exactly sure, since it does not have a uh, bottled on date on it anywhere. So, uh, and it's got the silk screen label on it. So, these bottles are printed with this on there. It's not a label that they stick on it. So, uh, it is what it is. If you've had it, let me know what you think of it, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we can dig out of that fridge. See you then.